Opening files on Hideki Cardassian Patrol Show. The Hideki is measuring 85.7 meters in length. The Hideki class was a relatively small, multi-purpose ship utilized by the Cardassian Union in the 24th century. It was primarily intended for border and scout patrol duties and was used to safeguard the Cardassian space from intruders, particularly near the de demilitarized zone along the borders with the Federation. It was also employed as an attack fighter especially during the Dominion Wars. These squadrons of these ships supported large Cardassian Galar class warships in many major fleet actions. In appearance, the Hideki class resembled a scaled down version of the Galar class with a backward sweep delta wing and a pioneer shaped tail section. In 2370, the hull of the Hideki class was pale gray and in the plasma glue given off by its warp nacelles was a blue Purple color, but by the 2373s, the external hard became a desert sand color. Ship had an attack value of 62,500. Shields were 260,000. A hull of 130,000. Getting a full defense of 390,000. The ship's primary weapon was one medium spiral wave disruptor, or referred to as a disruptor cannon. It had the output of 32,500 per shot. It was capable of having a volley of three, giving it a total attack value of 97,500. It boasted a secondary weapon of four spiral wave disruptors, capable of 7,500 points of damage each, capable of a volley of 13, equaling a total of 97,500. So now that we know some basic stats about the ship, I want to kind of talk about it just in general. So from a defensive standpoint, this ship does not seem to be particularly that great. But for the Cardassians, this was actually a pretty high-tech vessel. And the reason for that is the shield of 260,000 is the same scene on the Galore class ship. So they are basically building a ship that's one quarter the size of the Galore and then having about half the firepower. Though... Its relatively weak hull armor um, didn't mean it could last for very long. It was easily taken out, but the Cardassians suffered a lot dealing with the Federation rogue entities like the Maquis. And they realized real quickly that the Galores do not do well against small, fast-moving targets because the Spiral Wave Disruptor cannons that they're using, the 7500, they're not very effective and they're not super efficient. So they needed something that could support the Galores and that's where the Hideki came in. So they took the Hideki and instead of making a patrol ship, they basically made it into an escort support vessel for the Galore, which it did pretty good in that role. Now, the ship is weak, but for the Cardassians, you have to understand the Cardassians' technology is very different than the Federation. They don't have the same power outputs, and that's why their shields are so low. I mean, it, you also, whenever you've seen the Galores actually attack, it wasn't until you see the Kelton class that you actually see Galore ships able to fire large amounts of beams while moving at high speeds. See, the Cardassians' reactors are nowhere as efficient as that of the Federation, the Klingons, or even the Romulans. So by the other major powers, this ship may not seem by much or even technologically that advanced. But for the Cardassians, this ship was top of the line. Making a ship as small as this is with the defensive capabilities it has was something they'd never been able to do before. For a ship that had the defensive capabilities that this ship had, it needed a hull as large as the Galore, which obviously is not that efficient with materials. Interface complete.